Hello guys and welcome to another Terraria Let's Play video In another video with me, Superfudge247 uh, And today I'm not actually going to be joined by Joe uh, And I'm not going to be joined by Rain Machine uh, Simply because every time I've been doing a video recently uh, Rain Machine hasn't been on um, And yeah, so basically it's because normally when I come on uh, And want to do a recording uh, Rain Machine isn't normally uh, ready to come on, he normally goes off. Uh, anyway, as for Joe, uh, he's not here today, uh, cause he is actually at his brother's, uh, and yeah, so he's basically left me to do this. Now, I remember last episode, I promised you that I would have Joe come back, cause it is his series as much as it is mine. Um, basically, we'll, I do promise you, Joe will be back in the next video, uh, and that is a dead cert, uh, and yeah, and hopefully we will get him back in. Uh, but today he has left me a uh, challenge over Facebook, uh, and that's to go and check out uh, the jungle. Uh, hopefully to find a jungle, uh, a jungle dungeon, uh, or maybe it's called a lizard dungeon, I believe. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to go and explore that, and it's more to the left uh, from what it looks like. Uh, so we're going to go to the left. Uh, of the map and we're going to go over and have a look at the dungeon guys so that sounds cool uh, and hopefully in today's video uh, we can get ourselves some more um, life crystals hopefully uh, and yeah actually guys I can't exactly go anywhere yet because uh, I do need to find myself my grappling hook uh, so I'm just going to have a look in these chests so is it in here I can't see it um, anywhere uh, oh, there's some house stone in here. Uh, look, there's 27 pieces of house stone that we got in the last episode. Uh, I can't see it in here. Alright, so if I look in the other chest, nope, I can't see it in there either. Uh, I normally can see things quite quick, but it's not in there. I uh, can't see that there. Uh, not down there either. I don't think so anyway. Nope. Um, no, nope, I don't see anything down here. So, uh, actually, I don't think I know where it is. So, uh, we might just leave it for now and just... Um, yeah, go go off of it. Never mind. Uh, we've got a voodoo doll just in case we ever want to go up against the war flesh. That means we can uh, go up against the war flesh. So that's a pretty cool thing. So uh, the uh, the uh, choice is mine. Uh, we're probably going to do that in a future episode because we're not really prepared right now. Uh, legendary Mar Maramasa sword is not going to help us uh, fight the uh, war of flesh. Anyway, so we're going to go over to the jungle. Do you know what, actually, guys? Um, I don't really know if I want to go to the jungle because I really do need my grappling hook. Uh, simply because it does make me feel a lot better when I have the grappling hook. Uh, so I think I might go back quickly, actually. Uh, yeah, I will go back. So if we go back now, uh, I'm sorry about this, guys. I do really want to start the episode, uh, but I just want to make sure that this episode is as, as good as it can be for you. Uh, so I'm actually going to go and get myself the one and only grappling hook. Now, I remember seeing my jaw hook, uh, but I kind of like completely dis uh, like didn't get it. Uh, so you look, it looks a lot better. Um, I saw it there, I was even hovering over it, I believe, um, a second ago, and I didn't even see it, so that's kind of weird, really, isn't it? Um, anyway, so, um, we got our, uh, dual hook now, uh, and we're just gonna go over to the jungle, so hopefully today, uh, we're gonna find ourselves some chest, get some great loot, uh, get ourselves some life crystals, also find the dungeon, which will be awesome, uh, and yeah, so that's what we're hopefully gonna do, uh, in this video, so yeah. Um, and also, guys, um, if you've seen... Uh, on my channel, we have some new channel art. It's actually done by a guy named Squidgy Face, uh, also known as Aaron. Now, I hope Aaron doesn't uh, hate me for noticing his name or mentioning his name. Uh, but I just think that personally, he did he. Uh, um, he deserves everything that he gets. I mean, literally, he used to be a professional graphics um, designer, I think, uh, who done some stuff for AstroTurf and stuff, and his own uh, company that he's working for it before. Um, but he do he's unemployed now, but he basically said to me, do you know what, I feel like being nice, he turned around and he was awesome. Uh, he turned around and offered to make me some graphics uh, for my thingy, I was... Not, I didn't need to have graphics, but I think he's made my channel look a lot awesomer. And I just want to say thank you to um, Aaron, also known as Squidgy Face. Uh, so this is a great big giant shout out to him. Uh, and if you want to go and check out his channel, uh, it will be in the description below. Uh, so yeah, do, please do remember to go check out his channel. Uh, I, it would be awesome. He's recently been doing some episodes of me and a guy called Candy Cane from his channel. And it has been awesome. Uh, I've had a lot of fun over there. One of my jokes was, because it's very space uh, themed, the series that he's doing. One of my jokes was, what is an astronaut's favourite chocolate bar? 
a Mars bar. <laughs> uh, to me, that's quite funny, but it was meant to be a couple of cheesy jokes, like, you know, some rubbishy jokes that nobody really cares about. Uh, yeah, so if we just dig down here for a little bit and get back to Terraria, if we dig down here for a little bit, and as you can't see me, uh, what I might actually do is uh, quickly go over and get some torches out. Uh, and that's so you can see me. <clears throat> So that's a lot better, guys. So see, there you are. You don't have to go, Oh my god, where's he gone? You can actually see me now rather than uh, wondering where I've gone and sounding like an old woman like that. Um, sorry to old women, but that probably wasn't the best impression of an old woman. But, you know, I could do better. How are you doing? A thousand pounds? A thousand pounds? No. Outside? No, they're not even women. They're actually boys and they're from Little Britain. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, if we dig down here, hopefully we can find ourselves a jungle temple. Found our find ourselves a few little areas uh, that we can go into so I think that would be pretty cool we're running about six minutes into this video now guys and it is awesome I've really been making myself feel like uh, Terraria was a load of rubbish lately because literally Terraria for me has started to get a little bit old uh, because I've literally done everything there is in Terraria but this series oh look a chest oh right what's that do okay oh an anglet 5% increased movement damage, that, speed, sorry, damage, speed, awesome, right, so if we press Y, uh, and quickly go and equip that, so if we change that for, okay, so if we just change that for that, which is 4 milli speed, uh, what we do is, I don't really care about that, because we can get plenty of them in the future, they're pretty easy to come across, uh, but anyway, if we get ourselves a chest, is that a gold chest, I don't know, because I can't tell, because of the water, uh, but anyway, we'll have a look in a minute. Uh, is that tungsten ore? I think that's tungsten ore. I'm not really too sure if that's tungsten ore. Uh, so let's have a little look. Yeah, it's tungsten ore. I'm not going to bother mining the rest of that because uh, we don't actually need it. Because uh, um, basically we've got plenty of tungsten ore and I don't really think there's anything I'm going to need it for. Uh, so if we quickly have a look if that's a gold chest. Because I don't know if that is a gold chest, guys. Uh, is that a gold chest? Look at me, I'm trying to do it with a hammer. I meant to do it with my pickaxe. It's just a normal chest. Ah, okay, so it's not what I thought it was. It's broken my dreams, guys. It's broken my dreams. <laughs> anyway, so uh, if we get ourselves some iron as well at some point. If we see some iron, we're going to need to get that uh, to get some buckets of water so that in the next episode, uh, we can actually go down the howl. Uh, and get some obsidian. Uh, so yeah, that would be pretty cool. Which, how you get obsidian is by pouring water onto lava, which creates a new block called obsidian. So yeah, oh, look at that piranha outside of water. Okay, that's normal. Alright, so if we get ourselves some of that iron there, uh, that would be quite handy for the next episode. So uh, we will need that definitely, uh, and that will be quite handy. So yeah. Um... What we might do is uh, we're just going to quickly come down here. I'll put some torches so that you can actually see what's going on. Uh, and if you guys are liking this series at the moment, just remember to give that uh, a smack on the like button. Uh, if you have enjoyed watching this series so far, expect uh, more content. But first, you're just going to have to subscribe, like, and by the way, guys, tell me about it. Tell me what you like about it. I've had so many people come to me and tell me how much the Terraria series is awesome. <gasps> and look at it. It's a magic mirror. Seriously, we just found a magic mirror. Oh, my God god we are lucky that is literally the first time i've ever found a magic mirror legit in a survival world in the legit survival anyway and it's a gold chest that's pretty cool uh but if you do like this guys this series you've got a voice come and tell me the comments are down there i haven't turned them off i'm not pewdiepie pewdiepie is awesome but um i haven't turned them off because they're not being spammed at the moment hopefully you can respect the spamming part but apart from that um hopefully yeah so hopefully you can be really cool uh tell me what you like um everybody gets back to me and tells me what they like and i just sits there and i think that is really good uh all the compliments have made me want to stay on youtube there's been times when i've been like nah i don't want to be in youtube no more but a lot of you people have been making me just come back to it and think you know what look anyway oh look there's a chest up there that's a weird looking chest it looks like it needs a key though so that could be quite hard because we might need a key which is going to be uh hard because we haven't actually got any keys yet so uh we won't actually better get in there and if we try not to die here oh a spiked jungle slime ouch leave me alone leave me alone ow all right so we place down the torch and i can actually see my foe right okay so if we take him out with a legendary maromasa sword uh and we just place down uh some stone so that we can kind of like make a little bridge uh so we can get into that and get the loot which will be really cool uh, just for us really to get the loot, I guess, because uh, that would be quite handy, wouldn't it, guys? Uh, just to get a little bit of loot. Um, so I would like to find out what's in there. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to move my torches over. 
so we can light this place up a little bit so we can just see a little bit better. Uh, and if I just dig through here, um, I might have to change those uh, two tools around at some point. Probably not in this episode because I can't be asked. Oh, right. Okay, so we can get into it. We don't need a key. All right, so there's a statue, an angel statue. Okay, so it can only be placed. You've got some silver bars, uh, some shurikens, shurikens. Shurikens? Alright, I can't actually say it, uh, but it was quite funny anyway. Shurikens. I don't know anyway. I, I don't know. <laughs> but it was quite funny anyway. And some silver coins. Well, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm actually quite happy uh, to be in that. So I'm actually quite happy to see that uh, in a chest. Because, uh, you know, it's something different. Uh, if we just quickly break ourselves that chest, then we can have an ivy chest. Okay. Oh, there's a hornet. I don't really want to go up there because I don't want to get my bum whooped. Uh, or stung. I don't want to get my bum stung <laughs> by a... Uh, hornet. So if we just quickly break this, and what is this? This is another statue, an imp statue. Uh, it, what does it do? Does it do anything? Um, can be placed. It doesn't actually do anything. See, um, some of them actually do stuff. Like if you've seen the uh, one which is a heart, if you get hurt sometimes, uh, it will throw. No, when you're hurt, sometimes it will throw hearts out at you, uh, which are really cool uh, feature about it. So yeah, that's a really cool thing. Uh, now, let's get some rich mahogany without actually wanting it. And look, oh, some flaming arrows, some night owl potion, uh, and some silver or plus some glow sticks. Now, uh, if we snap those glow sticks, I mean, not snap glow, st glow, st glow sticks, uh, but if we swap them with the vines, uh, then we can take that. Um, we're not going to bother taking the ivy chest because uh, I've already got one. We don't need them all. Uh, we'd, we, we've got a world, world of ivy chests. We don't need them all. Uh, so if we just quickly kill that slime uh, and just kill some stuff and be a little bit reckless around here right now uh, Just because simply we want to get through this quite a bit We want to get through the episode because I think we're about halfway through uh, and I haven't had my uh, Break yet, but we haven't like done anything. Oh right So through the whole entire video I had notifications on I didn't even realize I had notifications on all right So let's go turn the notifications off because uh, I didn't even realise that they were on. So uh, if we break through this mud here, uh, we're going to go into a different part of the jungle. Uh, and hopefully we can find ourselves a lizard temple. Uh, and I don't even think it's called the lizard temple. But I think whatever it is cool, uh, called, I can't actually say it. So it doesn't really matter. But I believe in the lizard temple, they have something called the demon altar. Or something like that. Or uh, the golem altar, I think it is. It's where the golem uh, spawns. And you can get some really cool loot from him. Uh, and we can't kill that slime, even though I'm going to carry on trying to. Uh, so if we just come round him and kill him there, there we are. So we killed him. It was getting on my nerves that I could see him uh, on my map and I couldn't kill him. But yeah, or not my map, but just in front of me in general. Uh, and there's some more hornets. Now we want to be careful. Ouch. We're really careful here because we don't want to be getting hurt. Because uh, it could potentially really kill us a lot if we get hurt around here. Uh, so yeah, we're about running about 13 minutes into this video now, guys, and this is pretty cool, isn't it? So I, I'm having a lot of fun making this video. I hope you're having a lot of fun watching it. You're all beautiful and you're fantastic, and I'm just happy to say that I'm making YouTube videos and you're actually getting back to me and telling me how how, how good they are, and I'm just really happy about it, guys. I, I really am. Uh, so what we're gonna do now uh, is if we quickly try to go up a bit, we can try to find ourselves some more chests. So if we go down here. Uh, oh, some lesser healing potion. That's quite cool. And man eater, a man eater, but he's got a chest. <gasps> he's got a chest. Oh, look. Okay, so we got some cool loot in there. But if we kill this man he eater first, okay, right. Healing potions, which heal a hundred um health. Uh, which if we swap with the other ones, so that we don't have to do it. Oh, we almost fell there to our deaths, which would have hurt. Uh, well, maybe not to our deaths, but it was close. All right, so if we get ourselves a feather full potion, which would be cool, and we can eat that now, uh, and then what that means is, uh, is we can uh, we can stop ourselves from hurting our feet, <laughs> basically. Uh, but the only problem with it is, is that we fall really slow, and it feels really weird uh, because I'm used to like falling really fast. It's quite weird actually. Uh, so if we quickly switch those, oh, are they not the same? Oh, all right. I thought they stacked. I thought they were the same thing. <laughs> oh, never mind then. Uh, maybe not, but if we take them over to the other thing just to save space in my inventory, uh, we can take ourselves some more torches, but if we just do the easy movement, uh, that would be a lot more helpful, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah, so that's actually a gold chest, that one there. That was pretty good loot uh, as well for a gold chest. That's really cool. All right, so there's a man-eater there, which is really annoying. Uh, there's some dynamite and a staff of regrowth. That's really cool. Creates grass on dirt block. 
All right. Oh, oh, oh no, I think I've deleted it. No. Oh, okay, I haven't. Uh, what i done was is um, I thought I deleted it for a second, but I hadn't. All right, so if we put those on there, stack them up, and do easy move. Uh, we've got some dynamite there, so if we just uh, use that dynamite uh, just to do that. Right, okay, so if we break through and get ourselves this chest... Uh, and now we have two IV chests, guys. That's really cool. All right, so if we just kill that man to kill the piranha, uh, and we just move around a bit. Oh, there's a lot of man -eaters. Ouch, they're hurting me a lot. Ow, ow. All right, so I've got my hearts back, and I've actually regened here. Uh, I've only got two hearts away from being fully regened, but I'm, I'm regened a little bit. So if I quickly didn't use my grappling hook, because uh, I can see that there. Oh, watch out. Oh, look, a shotgun. Oh, a shotgun. Awesome. All right, so if we go in there and get ourselves up that shotgun, all we need to do then is get some chlorophyte, um, chlorophyte, I think that's the name of them, bullets. And we'll have some really cool bullets. Oops, I almost moved my 5% uh, more increased movement, which is not good, because I want that. Uh, so if we do a quick move, that's really cool. And we take the jowl and we bin it i believe oh no we're just gonna put it in our ammo that's crazy all right then i'm gonna put it in my ammo uh, and i think if we can use it now because we do have bullets for this all right so um you can't hear the effects of the gun because some reason uh my tv's audio is messed up at the moment uh so i'm actually recording off of my tv for a bit uh but yeah this is pretty cool so um next week though we will definitely have the gun bullets back but that's really cool and i'm trying to kill him and the i won't kill you i won't kill you i promise you just come to me all right i'm sorry i'm sorry all right all right i'm sorry all right throw, let's throw some dynamite out and just try to make a little bit of a hole uh get our maramasa sword out so that we can defend ourselves uh so if we throw our two pieces of dynamite oh what we found it we found what we were looking for guys awesome we found ourselves the lizard temple whatever it's called uh anyway let's have a look on our map um, so yeah, th that's basically where it is. So I could kind of leave now, and then we would know where to go. But I guess I could tell because of where it's orange. That would kind of show that that's the lizard temple. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm really happy that we found that. We've actually done what we wanted to do, uh, but we won't, won't be able to go into there until we go up against the wolf flesh, so we can make some molten armor, and then we can actually get ourselves a pickaxe and the lizard. Uh, oh wait, the hallowed key, I believe it is, or something. Uh, and then look, oh, a life crystal, sweet. Uh, and that will allow us to gain entrance to the temple. Now, uh, anyway, awesome. Uh, we can get ourselves a life crystal. Sweet. I said that I was going to get myself some more life crystals at some point. And we found some. So we didn't actually have to uh, just give myself a load. Uh, we actually found some. So that's pretty cool. Uh, right. So we're going 17 minutes into this video now. We found another gold chest. And we've got ourselves some quick shoe spikes, which I don't think I really want. An archery potion, which is pretty cool. We'll have that. Uh, so I swap that for my black obsidian and a vial of blood summons a pet bat. Awesome, a pet bat. That'd be really cool. All right, so if we get ourselves out this pet bat, and I want to quickly show you that. Uh, so if I just come down here for a minute, uh, and I just go over, and this is my pet bat. Can you see it? Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. That hurt. All right, can you see the pet bat? Yeah, look at that. See, you see that thing flying? That's our little pet. Yay, we have a pet now. Sweet. Right, awesome. So we have a little pet. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'll be able to show Joe that in the next episode, uh, which will be really cool. So anyway, um, all right, okay. So auspicious Aya Cthulhu spawn. Uh, we also have a ten percent melee damage, which is really cool. Uh, which is really really cool actually. Uh, and we can trash that for now. Uh, and if we just do a quick move, it'll be a lot easier. The stuff we can't take, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't have to kill anyone over it. Uh, so if we just get ourselves, oh, another life crystal again. Alright, so we're going to get ourselves life crystal. Oh, another life crystal. Do you know what? We are very, very, very uh, lucky to be finding all these life crystals. Now, what we have to do first uh, is hopefully kill the hornet that's nearly killing me. Uh, and if we get rid of one of the items from in my inventory and just pick up the life crystals quickly, it doesn't matter just in case we die. Okay, so we got the life crystals, so it doesn't matter now. We've, we're fine. Oh, ow, skeleton. Alright, so, right, if we take some loot from this. Oh, okay, there was some more stuff in there. There was an enchanted boomerang in there, I believe. So let's have a little look. Have we got an enchanted boomerang in there? Uh, I think there is an enchanted boomerang in there, which is really, really cool. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, there's actually some gold bars. There's a water walking potion, which is really, really cool. Uh, and I never thought I would be so happy to see a water walking potion, but I am. Um, let's get ourselves the enchanted boat or the enchanted um, boomerang for Joe. Uh, and we get the gold bars and swap them with... Hmm, if we swap them with the cobwebs, yeah. And then we... Oh, a monster slime. Okay, so if we kill the little babies. That's weird. That's the first time I've seen a monster slime, I think. 
Oh well. Um. Anyway, so if we just go along a bit, uh, and we'll have a little bit more of a look. So yeah, we've actually found some more stuff, guys. That's really cool. I'm actually happy. We've made some progress in this video. I'm just really happy that a lot of you like this series. I'm really starting to love Terraria again. I'm starting to hate it, but this is just this is just opened my eyes up against Terraria. Um. And yes, yeah, so this has really started to make me love Terraria again. The fact that we found all this stuff. Oh my God. What are, are we in how? Oh look, some obsidian. Well, we can get ourselves some obsidian here. Obsidian, sorry. I never thought I would be so happy to get obsidian, but I really am. So if we swap it for the wooden platforms and get ourselves some obsidian, uh, we can use this uh, to get ourselves some ha uh, house stone bars, which we can do in the next episode. But what we have to do first is go to um, the underworld to get ourselves some house house stone ore, and then we can use that. Uh, to craft ourselves some house stone bars, which can be used to make ourselves a molten pickaxe, uh, which is the only way, other way we can get into the lizard temple, uh, which would be really cool. So I, I think that'd be cool. Oh, oops, ouch! We nearly got killed there. Uh, I normally set, nearly set myself on fire. Not a lot of people really know how to get obsidian. They find it so hard. It's just so easy to get obsidian. But we got 44 pieces from that, guys. Look up there. Look, 44 pieces. Look at that. Great. Oh, I got mounted. Okay then. <laughs> Um, oh well, anyway guys, I was going to end the video anyway, so because we're quite close to ending the video. Uh, we have just about run out of time anyway for this video. It's been awesome anyway, but before this video ends, uh, there is one thing I'm going to do, and that's I'm going to consume. Uh, if we just quickly go in actually, and put all the stuff that we've got from this little trip, uh, and put it into a chest. So if we get the ivy chest out, uh, and we just place that down there, uh, then we, what we can do is we can put everything in there that we got from our little adventure. Uh, which is everything we got there. Look at all that. That's what we just got. So before at the end of this episode, one thing I will do is I will consume some of those. So that's awesome. We've got ourselves near enough a load of hearts. Uh, and we got some amber. No, no, wait, no. This isn't what we got. This is what Joe got. All right. So what we got, though, is all of this. We got a magic mirror, a shotgun, an enchanted bow, boomerang, sorry, a vial of blood. We got loads of things. Anyway, guys, we got some obsidian, which we can do in the next video. But anyway, guys, I will see you later. I've been Superfudge247, and I will see you all later. Bye.